Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Oh my gosh. As you can see, I have no makeup on. My hair is still damp from my shower. I'm in a very fluffy outfit, and I'm not feeling all that great today. I'm getting a bit of a migraine headache. It's not full-blown. It's sort of being tamed with my medication, but I was planning on doing a full-on, like, um, Cyber Monday haul for you guys because I just got a lot of my stuff in which are gift ideas and stuff that would probably be helpful for you guys and maybe you just want to see what I picked out and I was going to film that today and I was like you know I'm not really feeling all like peppy to present the items so <sighs> here we are. So I think what I'm going to do is just have a really um, relaxed day and Larry's currently on the phone trying to handle a bill that has gone wrong. But anyways, real life problems here, guys. But anyways, what I think I was doing, I'm going to stop being such a negative Nancy. <laughs> um, I need to write out Larry's riddle. And then I think what I'm just going to do is pop on a film on the TV in our bedroom. And then I think I'm going to clean out the closet. I've just started some laundry. So really today is just going to be a laundry day slash clean out the closet day. And just see how I do. And yeah, I'm just kind of focusing on drinking lots of water. I need to put some Bengay or something on my neck muscle because my neck is really tight. And I have a really big day tomorrow, holy crap. I'm gonna start clearing out this closet. I think I'm gonna put in a Christmas movie. Let's do a time lapse of the closet, clear out, and Basically, I'm going to get rid of everything that I'm not wearing. If I haven't worn it in the last, like, month or two months, I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, I'm going to make certain piles, whether I want to donate the items or give the items to friends or my mom or sell them. I'm not sure how that works. I don't know where I could sell them, but I'm going to make certain piles to donate to charities or to do what with. I just want to get like a simple color scheme in my closet and just just clear it out. So that is the goal of today. Alright guys, we're going to have to pause that project because it ain't happening today. It's not happening. The laundry is just finished, which that's not happening either probably, but we'll get to that later, hopefully. Currently, I have just heated up some mashed potatoes in the microwave because when I don't feel good, when migraine is coming, there's three things that I usually want. Macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, or soup. And today it happened to be mashed potatoes. I almost said mascaroni and cheese, but I've just used this. Actually, I have not. Okay, I lied. This is what I like to throw on the back of my neck when I have tension or when the pain is just going straight up. Okay, I don't know where you guys get your migraines or your headaches. This is where mine start. I usually start getting them like right in here in this tension area and they go straight up the back of my neck right to the base and then they just cover my whole left eye and into my head. So what I like to do is use some of this then I put it on my fingers and I literally just move that over and I rub it all over and kind of push down really hard on that muscle and then bring it up to my neck. And this helps a lot. I don't know though, every time I have this on, it usually means I don't feel good. Although every time I wear it, if I go over to my parents' house, my dad's like, what perfume are you wearing? It smells so good. And this is usually what I'm wearing, which is hilarious, but 
Okay, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna wash my hands. Always wash your hands and don't stick your hand up your armpit after you've used this or else. I mean, we all knew this was probably gonna happen realistically during Vlogmas. I had it in the back of my head, a migraine might strike. I usually get like one, two bad ones a month. They used to be much worse, so I'm very, very grateful. So, you know, we're just gonna roll with it. This is how it works. Let's see if my ear's really red too. Ooh, look at all that scarring. That's fun. Harry is cleaning out his popcorn tin with Lexi, who's very amused. Hmm? Right, babe? Hi. Hi. Lexi's helping. I see you're multitasking. Munching, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Sample Absolutely. Let me show you guys the packages that came for the haul that I was planning on filming today. So this will probably, I'll film it. Okay, so tomorrow's a big day, so we're taking you guys out, so it won't be tomorrow. Well, you guys are seeing this. Very confusing. Anyways, I have a big old package from, who's this from? Alta. A massive box from, where is this place? Where is it? Where is it? Bath and Body Works. And I do believe I have a Sephora bag as well. And these were all like, you know, gift ideas and gifts, so. I know some of you have said in the past, like when you get a migraine, you can't even like sit out and about and you're in bed, which is very true. Like some of mine are really that bad. My mom gets them so terribly, like she throws up and everything. That's happened to me a few times. Mine are a little bit more mild, but still in that way of like, oh my gosh, where I know this one is just beginning to where if I let it go, I'll be in trouble. But right now, it's being managed under medication. Which, some of you have also asked the medication, like what medication do you take? Um, I've gone through quite a few. It's actually called Rizotriptan, which I believe might be the generic name for Maxalt, don't quote me but it does have to be prescribed by a physician or a doctor. You can't just get it off the shelves because my migraines and a lot of people who get migraines, shelf medication does not help at all. And so I'm just gonna have a really chill day. I'm like literally stirring around my mashed potatoes, which is fun. And I don't know, after I eat this and watch a bit of the Grinch, um, I don't know, maybe I'll have Larry take over and show you guys something. He's not feeling well either. Larry, how's your headache? It's, uh, it's just a headache, it's not a migraine. Yeah, so I don't know. It must be the weather, Florida weather. You guys are seeing me at my best. Eating mashed potatoes, no makeup, hair's a mess, don't even care how the bun looks, and literally these, I usually straighten. They're not even straightened, they're just, hi. But I love you guys and thank you for seeing me this way and watching me this way. And I think it's important to share this kind of video because being all done up and perfect, or not that we're perfect, but being all done up and makeup and doing this and doing that isn't every day. This happens. So, mm hmm. Cheers. I'll also add not the healthiest option, probably but kale soup or like a broth based soup with kale and veggies is probably the way to go when you're sick and have a migraine, not this, but this is just, <laughs> I need carbs. <laughs> I have thought this might be the perfect opportunity for Larry to take over and show you his limo collection and whatever else he wants to show you. So I'm gonna hand over the reins to Larry. So here's the limousine collection. I have, eight of the different models. I think there's two, maybe three more that I don't have that are more modern. But I'll take these out and you can look at them individually and see if you like them. So the first car is a 1938 Cadillac V16 engine. There were two of them that were produced. One was dubbed the Queen Mary and the other one was called the Queen Elizabeth. They were both delivered to the US government uh, named after ocean liners, which of course were named after the Queens. Uh, they were designed for six to eight passengers, very heavy vehicle. Communication equipment included a telephone, a two-way radio, gun racks, pistol holders, uh, siren unit, and emergency light. One of the two cars is still owned and operated by a private owner here in Florida. 
they would have served President Roosevelt, Truman, and Eisenhower. So this is the side view. They had two flags, one on the front for the presidential flag. Back view, the trunk does open. You're not going to be able to see in there, but it's actually lined with a material, which is pretty detailed. Here's the passenger side with also the United States flag and there's a picture of the front I think the hood opens and I don't know if you're going to be able to see in there but there's the engine compartment that's detailed pretty nice pretty detailed dashboard instruments radio steering wheel now I think Let's check this out. I think when you turn the steering wheel, the wheels in the front turn. And then in the back, you have your regular back seat with a footrest, which is what this is. But then you also have what's called jump seats, which are seats that fold up to the divider and they come out and then open up that way and you would have two more people sitting there so it's a pretty detailed car I think it was sold as a toy but it's also a collector's item so that's the first one that's a 1939 nope I lied that's a uh, 1938 Cadillac I have an idea guys let me know in the comments below if you think we should do it listening to Larry talk <laughs> made me realize that he should start a channel. What? And you could do your own like hauls from the thrift store because you love thrifting hauls. You could talk sports. You could do stuff like that. You could talk about police work and give tips for people who want to be an officer one day. Clothing hauls, your jersey hauls. Like you could do so much with your own channel and I think that would be a really good idea. And I think a lot of people want you to start your own channel. Well, I don't know about that. Maybe, I could edit them for you. Maybe comments down below. Let us know in the comments below if we should get Larry a channel. And then don't worry about editing. I'll edit your videos if you want. Well, we'll see what popular vote is. That'll be a lot of editing for me, won't it? <laughs> do you, is this something you'd want to do, though? I'll give it a whirl. Well, let's let them vote on it. I guarantee you they'll want you to do it. Well, we'll see. Next car in the fleet is a 1939 Lincoln Sunshine Special, which was the president of Franklin Roosevelt. Uh, this was built by the Ford Motor Company and modified by Brunn and Company to U.S. government specifications. It was equipped with a siren, running lights, two-way radio, telephone, uh, extra wide running boards and grab handles for Secret Service agents. And it was powered by a V12 L head engine. Uh, it was updated with a new grill and about concerns for safety. They put armor plating in the doors and body panels and bulletproof tires on the wheels with storage compartments for submachine guns and pistols in the interior. Uh, all the modifications increased the car's overall weight to around 9,300 pounds. Uh, with all the special stuff on it, the president still preferred to ride with the top down. So just like the other one, if you turn the steering wheel, the front tires turn. Uh, there's the driver's side. And I think this one also has a trunk that opens, but the original tape is still holding that closed. I never took that off. I got fired. Passenger side, I think the hood opens, but I think it opens that way. Let's see if we can take a look at the engine. Pretty detailed engine compartment. Which is nice. Hey, your chair. I know. You might want to tell them what that is so they don't think you're ripping butt. The chair that I'm sitting on is pretty squeaky. So there's the front and then like the other one in the back it also has 
the jump seats and this also has a carpeted interior and that is the 1939 Lincoln the next car is a 1950 Lincoln Cosmopolitan referred to as the bubble top because as you can see this plexiglass roof that was custom built for the car it came in pieces when it wasn't being used it was stored in the trunk and they put what's called a continental kit on the back to take the spare tire out of the trunk to make room for the pieces of the top they put the spare tire behind the car which tilted forward so you could open the trunk the trunk is finished like in the other cars this has a um, I think it's got a V8 motor in it uh, this is used by Dwight Eisenhower and actually was used by Kennedy in his inauguration President Kennedy there was a fleet of 19 specially built 1949 and 50 Cosmopolitans that were leased to the government by the Ford Motor Company um, they extended the wheelbase from 125 inches to 148 inches and it was specially designed at this top to go with that car for the president a uh, new feature was an intercom between the back seat and the front seat so that they could communicate with the intercom it was an automatic transmission and it weighed 6,452 6,450 pounds pretty much the same features on the car as the other ones I did open the hood to check out the engine it is nicely detailed but once I had the hood open I really had a hard time getting it closed there's the interior and the back seat has the jump seats just like the other cars do there it finally focused don't know if I'm gonna get the door closed there's the driver's side there's the back end passenger side and there's the front and that's a 1950 Lincoln Cosmopolitan what was referred to as the bubble top the car is still operating today it was retired by the government in 1968 and it is owned by a business in Cincinnati which could be the company that did the work on it to turn it into the presidential limousine like the other ones it has an opening hood movable steering the jump seat in the back fairly detailed dash there's the back the trunk opens it is carpeted you can see the spare tire in the back there's the passenger side and there's the front and it's a 1956 Cadillac next up is a 1961 Lincoln X100 this was built by the Ford Motor Company originally as a Lincoln Continental convertible which they had from 61 through I think around 68 uh, the Lincoln had what was called a suicide door which was the back door opened opposite of what you would normally find and even though it was a four-door with that particular door style they still had a convertible in those years uh, it was sent to Cincinnati Ohio for Hessen Eisenhart to custom build it it was the most modern open parade limousine of its day it was painted midnight blue it had two-way telephones retract retractable steps and handrails for the Secret Service agents and it had a 430 cubic inch V8 engine which Ford used in most of their production line it had roof panels that could go on uh, although the car was probably the most modern of its time it really didn't have a whole lot to serve as protection and unfortunately in November 22nd 1963 President Kennedy while in this car with his wife Jackie the governor of Texas John Connolly and his wife um, both of the the governor and the president were shot the governor survived his injuries and unfortunately President Kennedy was was assassinated um, this model is equipped with opening hood 
an opening trunk. You can see the, the spares in the back. The hood shows the V8 engine, which is good detail. And then you can see the interior is highly detailed along with the jump seats that are featured in the other car. And you can also see the phone and the workstation that the president had access to on his side of the limousine. So that is the driver's side. There's the back view. See if we can get a, a view of the interior from the back. The passenger side and the front. After President Kennedy was assassinated, they took the car back to Cincinnati, Ohio, and had the company that did the modifications, Hess and Eisenhardt, basically rebuild the car from the ground up. And they came out with this finished product, which was no longer an open car. It now had a hardtop on it. It was no longer midnight blue, it was now black. And it was nicknamed Quick Fix because of the speed in which they did all the modifications. It was the same car, but there was an extensive amount of work that was done to it. It was equipped with what was called transparent armor a large glass panel that weighed around 1,500 pounds and covered the entire passenger compartment. It was the largest piece of curved glass ever made up to 1964. The original fix was done in the same midnight blue color as the car was made for President Kennedy. However, President Johnson refused to ride in the car. He didn't want to be known as the next president that rode in the death car so it was repainted black and used by President Johnson after it was repainted. President Nixon, Ford, and President Carter also used it before the car was retired in 1977. Same features as the other one. There was eventually a hole that was, or a, a sunroof, that was put into the roof by President Nixon so that he could stand during parades and see out. There's the back view. Passenger side. And there's the front. This next car is the 1972 Lincoln Continental limousine, which was referred to as the Reagan car. It was modified after being built by Ford Motor Company as a Lincoln Continental. It serviced Gerald Ford and Ronald Reagan. Ironically, both presidents had their lives threatened while associated with this car. They tried to kill Gerald Ford and they shot Ronald Reagan and he was pushed into the car for safety and taken to a hospital where he recovered. The car at the time was the biggest, most thoroughly armored presidential car ever made. It had bulletproof body panels and windows puncture-proof tires, high-tech communication and security systems, and actually a special covering over the fuel tank to prevent explosions in case the tank was ever compromised. It had a 460 cubic inch V8 engine and weighed around 10,000 pounds. It was used during the second term of the Nixon administration, Ford and Reagan, and the early part of the Carter administra administration. There's the driver's side. There's the back view which had a special bar for Secret Service agents to hang on to and that would actually flip down into the exterior of the car. Passenger side and the front. The 
in this car, although the Lincolns of this era did not have this, this car was featured with a suicide door to allow entry to the back. Not sure if that's going to close. There it goes. And that was a 1972 Lincoln Continental. I'll give it back to you in a minute. I just have to say something. How proud I am of you. Ah. This is really bright. Hold on, guys. There we go. I'm so proud of you. Yay. Larry said, <laughs> just walked by. What'd you say, babe? It's a good luck editing that mess. I think he did a wonderful job. And first of all, it was your very first time doing like a sit down filming what you were talking about. And I think you did lovely. Thanks. My first time, I messed up a thousand times. I wouldn't know I wasn't allowed to be in the house. Plus, yeah, I know. I used to kick him out. Plus, you can mess up as much as you want. Now I'm gonna give you back the camera so you can finish your talk. But I think you did lovely and you should be very proud. Thanks. You're welcome, babe. There you go. Here's the infamous squeaky chair that I started out in. So we eliminated that probably later than I should have. But to let you know a little bit about the company that made these models, it's called Yat Ming, Y-A-T-M-I-N-G. It's based out of Hong Kong. It was founded in 1970. Uh, they started making European muscle cars and sedans and transport trucks from the USA. And then they changed and I think made Road Champs, which was another die-cast car company uh, in the 80s and 90s. And they moved away from toy making more to the collector cars that are similar to what these are here. I know that most of these cars were being displayed at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. Mindy and I have seen all of these cars. Uh, this is where most of the collection came from. They're also available online and these are all in the 118th scale but I think they also did some smaller scale 124 and maybe even a 143rd I'm not sure but there's there's several different options available if you're interested in these uh, kinda hard to find in retail but they are available online with eBay and probably Amazon you might want to check them out so I think they run anywhere from the, the scale that I have with these cars they were anywhere from about 50 to maybe close to $100. So there is some price to it, but they are very highly detailed and for the most part very well made. So that's about it on the presidential limousine collection. Some people have asked and it keeps popping up every once in a while, so now you know. Hi. Hi. Who is that, Lexi? Is that you on the TV? Oh, she's so cute. Is that you? That's you, little one. Like he's watching the vlog. Hi, guys. So I have. It's Larry Advent time. Yay. Yay. Are you excited? Yeah. Happy. Thirteenth, everyone. Yeah, I didn't realize it was Friday the thirteenth. I didn't either. Until you said it. Yeah. I'm a sock, <laughs> not a wearable sock, but a decorative sock. You'll find me in your drawer. Move me to the fireplace, please. <laughs> I think I have to go look in my sock. Drawer. I was gonna say, move me from the drawer to next to the door, but we can't put this item next to the door. Anyways, go on then. <laughs> My riddles. Send help. I need a riddle book. Don't look in the bedroom. I started cleaning and it's a terrible mess. It's Rudolph and Hermie mm -hmm. and the Bumble. Bumble's bounce. Didn't I tell you? Bumble's bounce.
that. Good. You can replace it if you want with the other one. I'll leave it there for a little while. <laughs> Thanks, Ming. You're welcome, babe. Should we uh, end this vlog? I like Rudolph. I'm glad. Rudolph is a classic. Yeah. I like that stocking. It's very cute. It's a bad reindeer, bad Santa. Yeah, it was very judgmental. Yeah. I'm very excited for tomorrow, babe. Very excited? Yeah, I'm so cool. excited. I feel like it's such an honor what mom and I get to do tomorrow. Yeah. And the fact that I get to share it with you guys. Oh my God. I'm so, it's like a dream come true. You guys will know more, but I hope I feel better. Fingers crossed. I'm going to end this vlog. It's Ooh. currently, hi Lexi, you want to end it too? It's currently 4.30. I need to edit this and I want to go to bed early, take some medicine. That is so cute. I'm going to do fur babies. Well, you're not a fur baby, Larry, but this one is. Anyways, now I have to get the motivation and the energy to try and look at a screen. I wish I could just, I need an iPad for my left eye. Um, ooh, Harry Potter just came on the TV. We actually put our vlog on the big screen and because Lexi loves to see herself. <laughs> Not because we want to see ourselves, Lexi. Anyways, Harry Potter just popped on the TV, but I need to edit today's vlog, get it scheduled for you guys because mom and I are going to be out all day tomorrow. So... We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave comments down below. I love reading your comments and so does Larry. He goes through them as well. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.